it's Liz Hill from Old Staples Crafts. Thank you for joining me again today. Uh, today I'm doing a kind of make it up as you go along ish project. Um, I heard via the delights of Facebook, um, I mean, you see some really interesting things on Facebook and some things that are less interesting and some things that you wouldn't have heard about otherwise. And this falls into that latter category. Um, a very old friend of mine, as in someone I've known for a long time, um, she and her family have recently lost their cat. Uh, he was a rescue cat that they got, oh, 16 years ago. Um, he has moved from London down to Exeter with them. Um, they've got married since they um, got him. Their kids have grown up. Um, and obviously he is leaving, to use their words, a large cat-shaped hole in their family at the moment so I thought it would be nice to send a card just to let them know that we're thinking of them as you know I have three cats so it's I yeah it, it's too close to my home uh, to my heart sometime somehow so I've got the sorry for everything stamp set um, I'm going to obviously use the sorry and they then for the loss of your furry friend um, it's a bit cheesy but somehow it seemed appropriate um, I've got some basic black and the cat punch which is in the annual catalogue um, punches are going to be around for the sale for tools have we missed the sale for tools no no we're about to have the sale for tools I'm beginning to lose the will to live on this extravaganza um, so yes um, the cat punch is one that we've had for, well, it was in the Autumn Winter Catalogue last year. Um, their cat was black, so it seems appropriate to use a cat punched in black as part of the focal point on my card. So there we have a perfect sized piece of card. Um, there we have a black cat using the cat punch. Um, what can I say about the cat punch? Um, other than if you like cats, spring summer catalogue, just saying. Um, couldn't possibly be saying that, but there we go. Uh, I'm using, um, along with, I'm using some of the um, grey granite uh, designer series paper from the neutrals pack. Uh, I'm actually going to cut this, but I've cut a piece of basic black at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths a piece of the designer series paper but at three and three quarters by five and a half I've got a liner five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and then a standard um, a5 folded in half card base to make an a6 card um, and again this is in grey granite so um, first things first I'm going to I'm not going to put any sentiment inside I'm just going to um, add this and then I can write on it um, and just send a personal message to uh, my friend and her family just to let them know that my husband and I and the cats are thinking of them. Um, so that's that. So this I am going to cut. So let me grab my trimmer. Um, I'm just going to do an arbitrary cut um, so that it's not just one piece. Um, actually, I might turn it over so I can see. Actually, it doesn't matter where the stripes are because I'm going to then cover everything up with a piece of ribbon anyway. Um, so just for the sake of having a measurement, I'm going to cut that at four inches. So I have the two pieces um, and then I'm going to flip the bottom one over. So we've got the stripes at the bottom and the dots at the top. So first things first, grab some more snail. And... Add the top piece to our mat. And then add the bottom piece. And I know some people may think that, you know, when you lose a pet, it's just an animal. Um, but they do, they do, that's a bit scrappy. Um, they do fill a, 
important part of your life and when you lose them um, it's yeah it does leave a hole so um, I've got the grey granite texture weave ribbon which I'm just going to add there and I'm just going to leave it as a piece of ribbon I'm not going to tie a, bo a bow in it or anything like that um, it is just going to be a piece of ribbon um, and some tear and tape just to add that to the card just a couple of shortish pieces and then that will hold everything in place on the back assuming I can peel the paper off the front of course <sighs> so this is where I should actually have added the tear and tape to the card rather than to the ribbon but there we go such is life hindsight is as they say a wonderful thing so I'm going to put that sort of towards the top of the gap because uh, I want it further up and I can just pop that down make sure that it's straight on that line there and then just tuck the ends underneath and then this I'm going to just pop there but first of all I'm going to do my stamping before I get too far down the line and suddenly realize that everything's gone wrong um, so I've mounted the sorry on a an eye block and I've got my memento um, which I'm just going to ink that up well Now I know that this is straight on the block, so so long as I stamp it straight on the card, everything will be good. Make sure it's well pressed down and that you've given it plenty of time to transfer the ink. And there we go. And then my, for your, the loss of your furry friend, and again, Just ink that up and that I'm going to tuck in underneath and hold it there for a moment and there we go and then this I am going to just add to the bottom here and I am going to put that on dimensionals one layer of dimensionals will in the UK still go through our postal system as a standard letter um, so I'm always very fond of one layer of dimensionals um, I do need just something on the end there uh, scissors always a good plan let's just cut a couple of strips And then we can add this to our card. Now I've deliberately left a kind of gap there so that the ribbon can mostly go there. Uh, ribbon does have a little bit of bulk so it's quite useful to um, make an allowance for that otherwise you end up with things not being completely flat. Uh, let's try and have our cat so that it's straight there we are and there we go that's that so pop that away then all we need to do is add this to the front of our card and we are done so um, snail I think will be fine I might add a bit of um, liquid adhesive as well just so that we've got extra adhesion with ribbon I do quite like a, a, a mix of dry and wet adhesive. Um, wet adhesive on its own with ribbon is not a great idea. And 
and there we go. One. Sorry for your lost card for people who have lost a loved friend. Um, I hope you found that interesting. Um, I will link all of the products that I've used. Oops, I've got a stray bit of... That's better. Uh, I'll link all the products I've used on my uh, blog post, which is linked immediately below. Sorry, my brain really isn't in this because I would hate to lose one of our cats. So my mind is somewhere else. Um, so yes, all the dimensions and the products and everything will be on my blog, which is linked immediately below. Um, if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Uh, as I say, do remember that during November I am doing the November prize draw. So for every £30 you spend with me and use the host code, have to use the host code, you will get entered into the draw for the Many Marvellous Markers set. £112.75 in the catalogue. So, um, yeah. Thank you very much indeed for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon.